Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Chris Kobach checkmates Pelosi with loophole Trump can use to overrule Congress and fix border. The border is a mess and our political establishment is in a stalemate. Congress will not do their jobs, certainly not if it would hand Trump a win, and the laws on the books have precluded some measures and blocked others. Enter Chris Kobach, rumored to be a top choice to run DHS, found a few loopholes to checkmate Pelosi and solve the border crisis. It's not like we're powerless and it's not like we have to wait for Congress to do something, Kobach said. Kobach then detailed how. There's basically three steps. The first one is finalize a regulation that DHS proposed back in September. They could have finalized the regulation, made it go into effect in December, four months ago, but they've been dragging their feet. What the regulation would do is basically supersede the Flores Settlement. The Flores Settlement is the 20-year-old settlement that limits the amount of time that a minor can be detained and effectively limits the amount of time that a family can be detained together. Once this regulation is published, we can detain the whole family, keep them together, and that reduces the incentive to bring these minors north and using them as get-out-of-jail-free cards. The second is because of the lack of traditional detention space. The Border Patrol is saying well we have to let these people go. Now I have some, disagreements with the terms on which they're letting them go. Let's back up, we can create detention space. The federal government right now owns thousands, multiple thousands, of trailers and mobile homes that we use for hurricane disasters and they're selling them at bargain prices right now, we should be using those to create basically processing centers where people, you put a fence around a park or a parking lot. You park a hundred of those trailers there and you can have people have their immigration hearings, have their asylum and credible fear hearing, have everything right there. Deploy dozens of immigration judges down to these centers. Don't let them go, have a fleet of commercial planes ready to fly them back to their home countries. The third thing we could do is we absolutely have to put pressure on Mexico. But I don't think threatening to close the border is necessarily the best way to do it because Mexico knows that hurts us as well. What we should be doing is threatening to pass a treasury department, regulation prohibiting illegal aliens from sending home remittances through Western Union and the like. Then tell Mexico, we'll finalize that regulation and we'll cut off $20 billion a year in capital, unless you give us a safe third country agreement like we have with Canada. And what a safe third country agreement is, basically whenever an asylum seeker steps foot in one country or another, he doesn't have the ability to pass through that country and then claim asylum in the second country. With Mexico and the United States, People coming from Central America would have to claim asylum where they step first, that's Mexico, and not go all the way through Mexico to claim asylum in the United States. Demand that Mexico sign that agreement, it's very simple, it's working great with Canada, and get them to throw in some, border, wall money as well. Emphasis added. Kobach said the three executive actions would deliver immediate results for the American people and the nation's sovereignty. If we did all those three things, we'd solve the crisis, Kobach said. You would see a dramatic drop in the number of people coming north and you'd see these caravans coming to an end, he said. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.